Welcome everyone, you've got the professor here. My name is Darren Wiecek and welcome to Dangerous Productions and it's always an adventure. So we just picked up the OC Ghost Dream switcher. It's a four HDMI input switcher, pretty much like the Blackmagic ATEM series. So we have the ATEM Mini and we also have the ATEM Mini Pro. We're using the Mini to feed into the Mini Pro on the other side of the studio. So we figured we'd try out the OC Ghost Dream and see what the differences were. Biggest difference is you can use a webcam. So you can use the USB-C webcam. Very confusing as far as how to set it up. The manual is pretty much non-existent. Uh, they do have a user group on uh, Facebook, so you see some input and information there. So we figured we'd put this together to help you out as far as how do I set this thing up. So we are running the Panasonic GH4 to input one and our input four is just the direct line out of our laptops. Let me close this other stuff here. So once again, this is the direct screen feeding into our input four. So as far as how to get to the actual webcam setting, so on the software, we are using the USB-C output. So standard USB-C plug on the OC GoStream to a USB input on the laptop. So you've got the switcher tab and you've got the audio mixer. So we want to click that, click the audio part. So now we should see that we've got our microphones turned on. So we're currently using uh, microphone one. So first audio, you have microphone one and microphone two. Those are USB, or pardon me, your little 3.5 millimeter jack, so your stereo jacks coming in on microphone one and microphone two. We're currently using a Zoom PodTrack P4, using that for an audio mixer for our podcast. That's coming in on microphone two. And we're also using a Audio-Technica shotgun microphone on top of our Panasonic GH4. So white is off, purple is on. So you wanna make sure that those are clicked purple. So we've got our audio inputs correctly selected. And from there, you've got your still image tab. These are some of our backdrops for this green screen feature. You can stream three at the same time, unlike the ATEM mini series, you can out stream one. So typically we go to YouTube. So here you can actually select three and you've got your play select features. And then I mentioned going to the settings tab. So on the top of the settings tab, let me scroll over here a little bit. You'll see your multi-view display settings. Below that are your microphone inputs. Let's get make sure those are correctly selected. And just below that, you'll see your SRC selection. So these are your camera. So input one, so HDMI one, HDMI two, HDMI three, HDMI four. They are set to auto select. So I said our Panasonic GH4 is our HDMI input one. And then a laptop out is input four, so HDMI four. And just below that left-hand side, you will see your auxiliary tab. If you click on that, you'll see the options for your SD card, and there is your webcam. So once again, make sure that is purple. So now we should have a webcam. So just to check that, coming back to me on HDMI input one, if we switch over to the auxiliary tab, there you go. So super simple. So now we have hopefully good audio and we have our USB webcam. Now, little difference here is most of your webcams, your old school webcams have the fat plugs and your newer ones have the USB-C, kind of like the cord that goes into your cell phones. So we need to get an adapter. So the adapter goes from male to female so we adapted from your old school USB to the USB-C input. And then the other USB-C that is feeding our laptop so we can see the switcher screen. So hopefully you guys found this useful and stay tuned for some of our other videos. So we do like working with older equipment. I talked about the A10 Mini Pro and Mini on the other side of the studio. Believe it or not, two of the HDMI inputs we're using on that side of the studio 
are the GoPro Hero 2 and the GoPro Hero 3. So incredible. They're almost up to Hero 13. That'll be out here in just a couple months. So we're almost in August of 2024. So typically they have their new releases in September. And we're currently using the Hero 2 and the Hero 3. Believe it or not, full-size HDMI on those old GoPro Heroes. And our third camera is even older than that. It's a, a GBC action camera. Actually has a more durable HDMI connector than our Panasonic GH4, which has the micro. So very finicky, touchy little thing. You don't want to break that tab off on your camera. It's it expensive to fix. So once again, stay tuned. Please subscribe. As I said, if you found this useful and hit the little dingy dingy in the corner, you guys will be notified when we have a new video that comes up. We do like working with paranormal ghost hunting equipment, and we talk about refurbishing old equipment and modifying those to suit our needs. So once again, you don't have to spend a ton of money. You just have to know how to use what you have and how to have fun. So thanks, everybody, and it's always adventure.